Wait, holy. No. Tom, can you figure it out? Okay, I'm impressed. Another day, another AI. This time we're gonna try to make a breakout clone. This was originally Atari game from 1978. It's a classic. We've all seen it. Let's see what we can do. Write a script in P5JS of a breakout clone with colorful bricks that keeps score and the game is over when the ball hits the walls. That should be enough information for it. Let's give it a try. It's definitely going slower than it used to in the printouts. Continue the code, copy this into here, and we're gonna have an error where the code continued, it's missing some code. Continue the code from hits brick. And this should give me the rest of it. But it didn't, this time we'll brick dot. No! I'm gonna try to go up a function. Continue, bounce paddle. Okay, come on, come on, come on, do it. Ah, it stopped again! So I'm gonna try, give me the full completed code on one line without comments. It's not as easy to read though. Listen, coding just isn't easy, even if it's with AI. So we're gonna copy the code, paste it in. Hey, 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 hey! I have to actually hit a mouse press for every single paddle, which is really annoying. It's also moving some other stuff, but the colors look good. I like the score is up here. Can we see if it actually works? Let's see. The ball is flying off in the corner and it's way too wide. So we're gonna make a few changes. I'm going to try it again because this is not close enough. I'm also really encouraged that the one line worked. So to do that, I'm gonna do a new chat. I'm gonna get rid of this down here. Write a P5JS script. A breakout clone, colorful bricks, canvas size 400 by 300, which will give us a little smaller version for our window. Write a paddle, moves with the mouse, and includes the score. And the game is over when the ball hits. the bottom of the screen. Now I actually gave it the wrong instructions before because I said when it hits one of the walls and actually the game is over if you hit the bottom. Ah, it stopped again. So I'm gonna ask it full completed code on one line. What a good computer. This code may be difficult to read. Indeed. Copy the code. Ah, error. And of course with a code like this, I have no idea what's wrong with it offhand. Tom, can you figure it out? I'm gonna do it again and it's gonna look like magic in three, two, one. Okay, we have magic new code. Let's hit play and see what we got. Third time's the charm. Oh, oh, wait. Holy. Okay, it's actually working when I move the mouse. Well, it got stuck. Okay, there's an issue. There's a bug there. It didn't go game over. But look at this. It's hitting the bricks. That's pretty good. Oh, no, it did game over. Okay, it seems to work. There's a few bugs, but in general, the game is working. That's really good. I can actually play this. Okay, I'm impressed. So I'm pretty happy with this, but I'd like to make some more changes, but I'll do that in another video. Come along if you feel like it.